Why, hello everyone, this is James coming at you <clears throat> with another awesome video about affiliate links, how to promote affiliate links. Now, uh, today we're going to look at subject lines, how to write an outstanding subject line. What are some of the things you have to consider when it comes to writing a subject line, okay? Now this is part one of a two-part series okay part one of a two-part series we're going to look at uh the first 10 uh, tips in this video and then the next video uh, part two will be the last nine so we're going to do <clears throat> 10 first in this video and then nine in the second and then in part two of this now as always i like to encourage you uh, remember, you must take massive action, massive action every day, every day, every day, every day, and massive action. Success leaves clues. Now, <clears throat> once you get this knowledge, you have to do something with it. It does absolutely no good to just have the knowledge or information only. You have to do something with it. Do something with the information that you have, okay? So this is what we're going to do here, okay? You need to do something with it. <clears throat> Take massive action every day. <clears throat> you have to get those negative thoughts under control. That negative self-talk, you got to kick it to the curb. Negative thoughts, you got to have a PMA, positive mental attitude. There's no way around this. Remember, you are designed for greatness. There is greatness within. Got to get you some great I am statements. Okay, get you some positive affirmations. Uh, success leaves clues. Okay, success leaves clues. And uh, some of the clues uh, that they leave is, uh, of course, you have to be a person of gratitude, person of thanks. You have to give thanks. Okay? Take massive action every day. Kick those negative self-talk to the curb. Okay? These are clues that success leaves. Now, if there's a video you would like for me to create, drop me a line, send me a, leave a comment or something uh, with regards to uh, the topic you would like for me to do a video on, okay? I do accept requests, uh, especially when it comes to uh, <coughs> affiliate links, <coughs> some suggestion idea, ideas, tools, techniques uh, with regards to promoting uh, affiliate links. So please do that, okay? Now, <coughs> let's go ahead and get started with today's topic. So we're going to look at different tips uh, for writing great subject lines. All right, now, <clears throat> so, uh, one through five, here are the first five tips. <clears throat> uh, keep it short and sweet. Uh, um, use a familiar sender's name. Uh, avoid no reply. A sender's name, don't, don't use that. That could, uh, you want to do a great subject line, okay? Uh, uh, use personalization tokens and uh, segment your list. This is very important. Segment that list. Uh, don't make false promises in your subject lines. If you're going to say something, make sure you can back it up. Uh, uh, do tell them what's on the inside. Let them know what's on the inside of your email. Uh, timing is right. Make sure you have the correct timing. Uh, use concise language. And then action verbs. Okay, use action verbs. Actually start with, with an action verb. All right, so number one, keep it short and sweet. Now, the reason you want your title to be short and sweet, simply because if they're extremely long, it can get cut off. Okay, they can get cut off. <coughs> And a lot of the emails uh, today are, are being opened by mobile devices. So you want to kind of get straight to the point. Uh, but then not only straight to the point, you want to make sure that you, your subject line is not that long. Uh, <clears throat> now, gotta be, have, there's a 50 character limit. Okay, 50 character limit. All right. Uh, keep your subject lines short. Uh, Think about using uh, less words that means more. 
which word can you know if you can use one word that replaces three words that's great and then which words i can remove okay now here are some examples of uh what may work best okay here it's uh the first one is uh uh your order has been processed okay now this is a short example then here it says order and it gives a number it's being processed the the section a this one here the first choice is better than the second choice okay uh, so you come up better using the first choice and not the second one all right and then uh let's see don't waste time including words oh like update uh in the subject line okay don't, don't, those are wasted words updates and uh, newsletters okay uh use a name that the people are familiar with a familiar sender's name okay we're human make it make your email to appear that it's coming from a human and then the way you do that is by using a person's name the first name and then the company okay the company.com first name company.com use your own name use your own name all right because you want to come across that you're an individual that they are a person that is coming that the email is coming from a person and not the company okay avoid the no reply sender's name okay now when you do this it makes it appear that it's a mass mailing i know why people do this they want to encourage them to to not reply to this particular email address i understand why that's the case but sometimes that can come across as a, uh, a, a spammy okay as a spam email and then with the spam emails people are hesitant about opening the spam emails and it looks like it was just a bulk email that went out that was kind of like an autoresponder okay you, you you don't want to foster that you want it to make it appear that the email has is coming from a person okay this is what i'm talking about here never use no reply at companiesname.com okay and avoid using generic email addresses avoid doing that okay uh for uh tokens personalization tokens now <clears throat> people are using this uh this concept quite a bit today uh when you see like your name uh the recipient's name appears in the subject line a token was used or a symbol was used to put that the the person's first name there sometimes it will also appear within the email so this is done with the token okay it's called a token uh, it's, it's a code and each uh, mail system that you use has its own unique code it may have a code for a first name uh, another different code for the last name at site A, then the site B, the codes are totally different. So you have to make sure that you're using the correct token with each website or server, email server, or email client uh, that you're utilizing. Okay? Make sure you do that. All right? So you want to personalize it. Uh, so if you have the first name, include the first name uh, in the subject line. By doing this, this will in increase your click-through rates. Uh, subject line, okay. Now, sometimes you may want to include the location as to <clears throat> where the person is from. You know, the cities, you can you can divide that list. And then talk about the best. These are some examples. Uh, the best outdoor bars or restaurants uh, within the area. Okay. Okay, segue, uh, seg segment, segment, uh, your list. Now, when you set these email blasts, you kind of want to like, like, kind of like divide the list. 
Uh, remember that everyone on the list is not the same. They're different. Some people may like this. Some people may not like that. And so you kind of want to uh, divide your list as much as possible, kind of, you know, group them together. Uh, and the reason we want to do that is that this eliminates confusion and frustration. Now, here's some examples of what I'm talking about. Now, let's say you're sending out a bulk email to everyone on the list, and it's talking about a steakhouse. Uh, however, someone on the list could be a vegetarian, and they're asking themselves, well, why are you sending me an email about meat when I don't eat meat? Okay, so this is why you want to divide the list. Uh, <clears throat> then, let's say you send out a, a series of a case study uh, to someone who just signed up to a list. And they're asking themselves, hey, I just signed up yesterday. Then why is he sending me something about a case study? These are examples about how it would be best to, to divide uh, your list. Okay, some examples. Uh, okay, six, do not make false promises. If you're going to make a promise, make sure that you're able to deliver on that promise in your message. You don't want to put something out there that will cause people uh, to open the email, but then when they get to the email, what you promise is it's not even addressed in the email. Okay, you don't want to do that. Okay, you're making what should be a false promise. Okay, make good on the comment. If you say something in your subject line, make sure it's, it is addressed in the email. You want the two to be congruent. Okay, now, if you don't do this, this is going to create, I believe, a bad taste uh, in, the, in your audience uh, mouth, and they will learn not to trust you. And by them not trusting you, uh, this will lower your open rate and increase your unsubscription rate. So we want to avoid that. Okay, seven, tell them what's on the inside. Okay, let them know in the subject line what will appear on the inside. If you're offering a discount, if you're offering an ebook, uh, if you're offering a guide, uh, just mention that in the subject line, okay? Mention that in the subject line, and then they'll know what to expect once they get on the inside. You don't want it to come across as a surprise. Let them know what's on the inside. Hey, you know, something is downloaded. It's an offer. It will be delivered via email. Okay, this is like the subject line. Uh, and use a subject that would say something like, uh, your new ebook is on the inside. Uh, your guide awaits you. Okay, these are examples. Okay. Uh, now this works, these two works better than thank you, okay? Because you let them know you made it very clear what to expect and then that it's coming. Okay, timing. Make sure you have the correct timing. Okay, send out an email with this subject line. Make sure the timing is correct. Okay, it can make a very big difference if you send something out at the wrong time. For instance, uh, this is about prescriptions. This is, here are some examples. Uh, your prescription is expiring. Okay. And so what happens is you let them know that their prescription, uh, be it medication or whatever it is, is expiring. Um, and then you just sent them an email and want, and ask them if they want to renew. Okay. Renew. So you send it out before. This is what's called timing. All right. Make sure it's done at the right time. Now, also when you do this, <clears throat> include include a call to action about something else, about getting glasses upgraded. The email itself uh, was uh, about your prescription, but also there's a call to action about getting glasses upgraded. This is kind of what some people refer to as, as an upsell. Okay. Uh, concise language. Make sure to use uh, concise language. Uh, people have a tendency to to do a quick scan. Uh, they scan the the email. They scan the 
the subject line very quickly and they make decisions as to whether or not they're going to open the email or not uh, real quickly okay so make sure it's clear and concise okay clear and concise now as you create this subject line you need to think first about how will this email benefit uh, the recipients and then be very clear about those benefits so you want to kind of like think through this process uh, the reason for a good subject line is to get them to actually open the email okay so you want to make the make sure that the email uh, that the email <coughs> and the subject line that they are congruent that they are talking about the same thing okay you don't want your subject line to be about one thing and then when they get in and open the email it's about something entirely different so you want to make sure that that they are the same right now an example of what i'm talking about is this uh this is better this 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 particular one is better is more appealing than the second one. increase your open rate by 50 percent today okay now that is more appealing than how to increase your open rate okay increase your open rate this is this is an example of a good subject line increase your open rate by 50 percent today versus how to increase open rates okay uh, sample A is much better than sample B. You will get uh, more opens. Uh, okay, uh, uh, okay, action verbs. Start with action verbs or what we call call to action. A call to action. Now, subject lines can also be a call to action. They are very similar. Uh, you want to start out with what is called an action verb okay something that, that creates action okay language is used uh, to inspire people to click you want to use language that will encourage them to click the link uh, subject lines that begins with action verbs <laughs> tend to be more engaging okay they will more engage and they want to actually look at it a little bit more it's going to create some curiosity okay now when you add these action verbs make sure that they're at the beginning make sure they're at the beginning of the subject okay now here are some examples as to what a, a action having an action verb in a subject line would look like okay here's some examples okay here's one here okay an example inviting people to a hockey league dinner the email subject might read a dine with and it gives their names okay rather than a generic using uh, which is less accountable okay so you want to actually use the names dine with and you give the individuals names okay um, <clears throat> some other examples are say a local boston sports league meal okay this is what happens familiar uh, email use dine okay the action word here is dine Okay, and you will use that to help uh, increase your open rate. All right, so let's do a, a quick review as to uh, subject lines that are considered good. What do they have in common? Okay, and so we look at five things that they have in common here. Actually, we're going to look at ten, but we do want to be groups of five. Uh, make sure that they're short and sweet. Uh, use a familiar sender's name. Avoid the known reply sender's uh, name. Uh, use personalization tokens. Uh, segment your list. Uh, do not make, okay, here are the second group of five. Uh, do not make false promises. If you, if you make a promise 
if you mention a promise in the subject line, make sure it's followed up in the email. Uh, tell the people what they will see on the inside of the email. Let them know what's, what's going to be in the email. You don't want it to be a surprise. Well, sometimes, sometimes you do. You kind of want to create some curiosity. But for the most part, let them know what's on the inside of the email. Um, make sure your timing is correct. Make sure that the, the email is, 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 is timely. Okay. Um, then use concise language. Kind of get straight to the point. And then 10. Action verbs. I'll start with action verbs. All right. So this was James. Uh, we talked about the tips uh, for writing an outstanding email subject. You know, this is part one. Uh, part two will, will be posted as well. Now, remember, you must take massive action every day. Every day, every day, every day, you have to take massive action. <clears throat> if you have the knowledge, and you do nothing with it. It really does you no know, good to have the knowledge or, or the information. If you got the knowledge and the information, do something with it. Make it useful. All right? I want you to be able to say the dream is true. Great, great, great. Great it is to dream the dream when you're sending youth into Star Stream. But a greater thing is to fight, 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 fight life through and to see at the end the dream is true. I want you to be able to say the dream is true. I'm living the dream. Success leaves clues. Success leaves clues. And I want you to know that. Success leaves clues. Remember, you are great. You are designed for greatness. There's greatness within you. Get you some good I am statements, some good affirmations, uh, words, some encouraging words that you can speak over yourself. Get you a vision board. Get your vision board. Get your mind moving. Get your mind moving. Tell your mind what to think. Don't let your mind tell you what to think. You tell that. You tell your mind what to think. Uh, if there's a video you would like for me to create with regards to uh, 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 marketing, how to market the affiliate links, uh, send me a note. Leave a comment. Uh, if it's possible, I will do my best to create uh, that video and post it, okay? I do accept requests with regards to uh, affiliate links. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't uh, subscribed already, please do so. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment, okay? <clears throat> I need some engagement uh, with on my channel, okay? I need some engagement. Um, so let's go ahead and, and end with this lesson. Until we meet again, may the Lord continue to bless you. May he smile upon you. May he grant you his favor, give you his peace. And may he also continue to enlarge your territory. This has been James. Have a great day. Why, hello everyone, this is James coming at you with another awesome video. Now, <clears throat> this is part two of a series about uh, <clears throat> how to write an outstanding subject line. Okay, now this is uh, email marketing. Okay, I'm going to show you, I'll give you some strategies, tools, and techniques <clears throat> on how to create an outstanding subject line for your email. Okay. Now remember those subject lines is important. It increases a good subject line drastically increases your click through rate. Okay. Your open rate. And by increasing uh, the open rate for the email, it will also increase uh, your click through rate. Now, just as always, I'd like to begin with some encouraging words. I remember that there is greatness within you are designed for greatness. You can do great things. PMA, you must have a positive mental attitude. There's no way around this. You must have a positive mental attitude. <clears throat> you must have some great I am statements, some things that you speak over yourself, some great words of encouragement. Okay. Uh, you need to have a vision board. A vision board. Get your mind moving. Get your mind moving, okay? Now, these things will help create and foster a positive mental attitude. 
I am designed for greatness. This is an example of an I am statement. I can do great things. Okay? I, 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 I can do this. I got this. I got this. Okay, there's greatness within me. <clears throat> Everything that I touch prospers. All things work together for my good. Okay, these are examples of some good positive words, uh, positive affirmations. Uh, kick those negative thoughts to the curb. Kick them to the curb. Kick them to the curb. Success leaves clues. Success leaves clues. Take massive action. You know, once you get the information, once you get the knowledge, you got to do something with it. Do something with the knowledge. <clears throat> you must give thanks. You must become a person of thanks, a person of gratitude. As you give thanks and as you take massive action, as you <clears throat> have a PMA, your chances of of your dreams coming to pass drastically increases. Okay, it increases. So those are my encouraging words to you. Now, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. Like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Okay, I need you to uh, to engage with me on here. Okay, engage with me. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, we're looking at tips <clears throat> about how to write an outstanding email uh, subject line. All right, okay, I have the correct slide up now. I had the wrong slide up there a minute ago. I got the correct slide here now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're looking at this uh, beginning. This is part two. So we're starting with uh, uh, part three. So here are the next set of uh, five uh, tips. Uh, <clears throat> make, make the person feel special. Make them feel that they're a special person. Uh, create a sense of importance. Make them feel important. Uh, use numbers. Uh, pose a uh, compelling question. Uh, do not be afraid to give to be a pawn or to make a pawn. Okay, then the last group here is uh, do not use all caps. Uh, do not, uh, include, oh yeah, do not include a question with an exclamation. Uh, that would be perceived as spam. Um, use, engage the uh, preview text. And then do a test, A, B test. All right. So, <clears throat> number 11. Okay, make a person feel special. Now, <clears throat> we all want to feel special from time to time. This is a way to make them feel like they're an insider, that they belong. And this will create loyalty and compel them to want to open your email. Okay. Make sure you use the right phrases to make them feel special. And here are some <coughs> uh, phrases that will help do that. Okay. Uh, this is for our beloved customers only. These are examples. Uh, exclusive offer for you, my gift to you, uh, you are invited. Uh, this is a private invite. So these are some examples of some words that you can use to make uh, your readers feel special. Again, uh, for our beloved customers only, and exclusive offer for you, uh, my gift to you, uh, you're invited, and this is a private invite. Okay, those are some examples. Okay, number 12. Uh, create a sense of importance. Act now. Okay, act now. Use the language in your content by communicating urgency and scarcity. You want to create urgency and scarcity. Act now. Move on this today. This will compel your readers to click and by impelling them to click uh, the chances of them actually acting on it uh, drastically increases okay uh, now don't do this too often you don't want to be the one that cried wolf okay uh, use this 
uh, sparingly. Okay, don't use it all the time, but use it sparingly. Uh, 13, use numbers in your subject lines. Okay, now this help uh, to use uh, data and numbers is a great way to get your email noticed. Okay, uh, here are some examples as to how you could do that. Uh, title uh, of your blog name could be a series of numbers. Okay, a page length of the offer. Okay, a discounted, a significant discount. These are examples as to how you could use numbers. Okay. The numerical benefit. Okay. And then join the more than 7,500 others at this event. Okay. So they're using numbers. And these are examples as to how you could do that. Okay. 14. Compelling question. Now, you want to pose a compelling question. By doing this, this will draw your readers in. It's going to create uh, like a little curiosity. It's going to create some interest. And so you want them uh, to buy in, okay? You want them to buy in. It's a great way for them to, to pique their curiosity. Okay, part two. Now here's some examples as to how you could do that. Okay, how to pose a question. Okay, then SEO mistakes. Are you making these SEO mistakes? These are examples of, of a subject line that asks a question. Okay, do you know what you're doing wrong with your website? Can you afford it? What are your customers saying? Okay, this is an example of how to pose the question. Um, okay, now everyone loves a good pun. Okay, this is a way to delight your readers and spice up your email. So, so kind of do a pun there. Now here's some examples as to how JetBlue use their pond. Okay. Here, this is an example. Okay, see, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do not use all caps or overuse exclamation points. Now if you if your subject line looks something like this, this is A, sample A, this is all caps. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Or, let's say, this is the next one you don't do, 50% off today only, then have all these exclamation points. Okay, these are examples of what not to do. You do this, the chances or of them opening your email drastically decreases. As a matter of fact, when you capitalize the letters like this, it's considered that you're yelling. No one really likes to be yelled at. No one likes to be yelled at, so avoid using all caps. This is like you're yelling. And it also can come across as very spammy. It could be spammy, very spammy. Okay, 17. Uh, do not include questions and exclamation points in the subject line. Now, this will be considered as spam if you do this. So you, you pose a question. And then right behind the question, you have an exclamation. Okay, do not do that. Okay, like this. This will end up in the spam folder. Okay, here's the question. And then here's the explanation. Okay, don't do that. You got the question, then the explanation. Don't do that. Okay, and do not ask open-ended questions. Don't do that. No, no. This is a no, no. Uh, now, preview text. Now, there are some emails that uh, it's, it reveals the subject line, and then on some of them it will show like the first line or two 
uh, of the email. So you get the subject line and then you get a preview of the actual email. Okay, this is what this is talking about. So they want you to be aware of that, okay, that that occurs. So <clears throat> you want to use that to your best advantage. If, if your email, if a preview of your email is showing up, <clears throat> then you want to make sure that it's a, a it's the correct thing that you want to appear. Okay, you need to really take a really good eye of that and uh, make sure that uh, it's something that you want uh, the reader to see as a quick preview. Okay. Uh, now, split test, A-B test or split test. Now, <clears throat> you must always test uh, your email titles and your emails. Uh, the reason we do that, you need to find out what's working and what is not working you need to figure this out and then you do what's called a split test or a b test uh half of the group gets get email a the other half get uh, email b and the group that gets the greatest response uh that's the email that you would utilize the ones that, that receive uh, the best response now when you when you uh, do this uh, what works best? You need to find out what works best for your audience. Okay, I just said that. If, you know, long or short subject lines, which is better? Uh, to include numbers or to not include numbers, which is better? Questions or statements, which works better? So you want to find out uh, 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 which subject lines work best as you compose them. Again, short or long subject lines, which one works better? Uh, include numbers or not to include numbers which works better you need to find it out and then questions or statements and the way you find it out is by doing a split test or a b test okay that's how you just determine which works better okay now let's go over uh, some examples of some catchy email subject lines okay we're going to look at three slides uh, that we're going to uh, take a quick look at now here are some examples. Uh, this one here. Claim, okay, action, claim, claim your unlimited. Okay. Now notice that the word unlimited is capitalized, but the whole uh, subject is not capitalized. Okay. Now they want to show the emphasis. Now this is acceptable. Okay. But if all of it was capitalized, uh, it will come come off as being offensive. Okay, here they did a play on words or pun. Uh, instead of trying trick, instead of saying trick or treat, they're saying trip or treat. Okay, and then three hundred dollars off. It ends tomorrow, and this is offered by a tour company. Okay, uh, this is something about PTO uh, and special Fridays, so what they call summer Fridays. They kind of make the a reference that okay, it's a special Friday. Okay, here's some more examples of subject lines that work. Um, okay, here's the subject line, and this is the preview text. Um, okay, is it scary outside? And then preview text. Here's five dollars to stay in. Okay, so. They, Kind of doing a play on words there, which is very good, very clever. Okay. Red lipstick, red lipstick. Okay. One word, then is that enough? Said enough. Okay, these are examples. All right. Okay, here, this is our third slide uh, for examples. This uh, question was posed by Allstate. Okay. Um, okay, so. Okay, it's about buying a dress. Okay. Okay, buying a dress. Okay. Good, clever way of doing that. Okay. Now, the whole purpose of the email is that you want to get open. Remember, if your emails are not being open, then they don't know that you're there. Okay. So, you want your email to get open, and you want them to know that you're there. The whole purpose of sending the email is you want to share your content share your content if if it's not being open then you're not able to share your content that defeats the purpose okay so 
let's look at okay uh quick review here now this is our uh, uh part three okay now we're looking at uh tips for great subject lines okay make sure you start with action words action words start with action words uh make people feel special uh create a sense of importance use numbers uh, compose a compelling question again I start with action words, with the action verb. Start the uh, subject line off with an action verb. Make the people feel special in your subject line. Uh, create a sense of, of importance, urgency. Uh, you can use numbers and then pose a question. Okay, and then the last one here. Uh, don't be afraid to use a pun. Uh, uh, do not use all caps in the subject line. You can use some caps, but don't use all. And don't use a whole bunch of exclamation points like that. Okay, don't do this. And don't do that. All right. Um, okay, do not include a question and explanation together in the same sentence. This would be considered a spam. Don't do that. This is this right here is spam, and this is considered spam also. Uh, we don't forget the preview text. You have the subject line, and then sometimes you do the preview text. Also, uh, the A-B split test. Remember, you need to do a split test of your mailings. Find out what works best with your audience. Okay. Um, an example of that will be long title, short title. Uh, have a person's name included in the text or to not have it included. Uh, use numbers, not use numbers. Uh, use uh, questions or statements. You need to figure out which works best. These are some examples as to what you could, what your, how your split test could look. Okay, we just did that. And we just did that one also. Okay, so great. Now, so we just finished up with, uh, uh, with the presentation on how to write outstanding subject lines. Okay, this is part two. Okay. Now, remember, if there's a topic you would like for me to cover, uh, send me some information, and I'll be more than pleased to do that. Uh, make a request, and uh, I'll, I'll do my best to do the research and. Uh, uh, create the video and put it up if 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 if, if possible. Okay. Uh, remember that there is greatness within you. Are designed for greatness. You can do great things. Within you lies greatness. <clears throat> I want you, baby, to say I'm living the dream. The dream has come true in my life. Great, great, great it is to stand in youth by the starry stream. But the greater thing is to fight, fight, fight fight life through and to see at the end the dream is true. I want you to be able to say the dream is true. I'm living the dream. I've been with and I've been without. Being with is so much better. I want you to be able to say that. The dream is possible. The dream can come to pass. Success leaves clues. You find those clues that success leaves and then you simply apply them. Apply them. You have the knowledge. You got the information. Now you got to do something with it. That's a clue. Take daily action. You must execute. Take daily action. You have to act on the knowledge that you know. Act on the information that you have. Act on it. You have to speak positive words over yourself. Get some positive affirmations like, I can do this. All things work together for my good. I am special. There is greatness within me. And what is special about me is greatness. I am designed for great things. Get yourself a mind movie. A mind movie. <clears throat> Get yourself an action board. Okay? Put that before you. Tell your mind what to think. Mind, you line up. You line up. I got the knowledge. I'm getting the knowledge. Now I need to apply the knowledge. I have the information. I know how to write a good subject line. I got the information. Okay, now write one. Write one. You know what to do. Do it. 
that's, that's, this is how your dream come to pass. Okay, you got the knowledge. Now you have to apply the knowledge that you have. This is how you do that. Apply the knowledge that you have. There's just nowhere around this. Remember, you can do this. <clears throat> you are designed for greatness. There's greatness within. There's greatness within. Like this page. Share. Let people know that we're here. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Okay, I need you to engage with me. Engage with me. All right? And then I want to hear your stories. I want to hear what happened as you begin to apply the knowledge that I'm giving you. I want to hear what is happening with you. I want to hear it. Let me know. Drop me a note. Leave me a message. Let me know what's happening with you. Let me know. Let me know. Until we meet again, may the Lord continue to bless you. May he smile upon you. May he grant you his favor. And may he continue to give you his peace. This has been James. Have a great week. Not just a great day, but also have a great week. Take care.